Now he's lying in there, stoned. That maybe I don't know, but let's just go. He's dead? What you do to him, Emelda? Doesn't matter what I'm saying. It's not important. Let's just get the hell out of this place. No. What? I have to see things for myself. Mike, no, let's just. What did you do, Emelda? Mike. This is your relationship between this doctor and you. It's going to be your doctor and patient relationship. Mom, I don't quite understand where you're going with that. There is more to the gifts and the roses. Mom, you are so forever suspicious of me. Look, you are very much away. There is no man that will shower you it all the time and will not think otherwise. You know it. I mean, he's just my friend. Okay. Let me sit here and watch. Time will prove you right or wrong. That, that was scary, it was really frightening. Oh. The father gets better quickly. Who cares if anything should happen to him? Come on, Emil, you can't talk like that. You're tracking this issue too far. He's your father. Listen, Mike, I know this man. That is the only way my dad would do it in my beatings. Besides, he has a heart of stone. Now I know where you got it from. Come on, darling. That is pure relationship, you know? Okay, look, I'm sorry, my bad. I didn't mean it that way, but, you know, it's, it's just, so long. Hey, you, baby, don't, come on, baby, don't, 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 no, 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 come on, seriously, no, 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 seriously. Don't be scared. I don't wasn't scared. Baby. I wasn't scared. I just don't want to lose us. Ah, uh, so <laughs> Yeah, of course. Yeah, oh, come on, it's us, right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fabian, Fabian, help me. 
remember we have brought us. So then that leaves me here. Don't. Remember we have brought us. Please, please. Fabian. 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 Where am I? For how long have I been here? Uh, uh, doctor, please. I would not like to go home again. I would like to remain here. Don't worry, first things first. You need to get better. Okay. Uh, what is wrong with me, Doctor? My left side feels heavy. In fact, I, I can't feel the thing. Don't worry, I'll give you something for the pain. Okay. Something I like us to discuss, Sandra. Maybe we'll put you that over drinks. Uh, you know, these days I hardly go anywhere because of the baby. But you, you can, you can tell me. Okay. Uh, I've waited this long for your baby to mature before telling you this. Oh my God, there's something wrong with the baby. No, no. Oh. Relax. Oh, okay. I'm in love with you, Sandra. <laughs> Doctor, you, you know we are good friends, right? And that I value your friendship. It's, it's important to me, your friendship. I, I, I thought you understood that there is yeah. no place in my heart for, for that kind of relationship. I just want you to give me one chance to prove that I'm different. One chance, Sandra. No, no, please come. Um, no, please. I want you to talk to the doctor. Tell him I, I don't want to be disturbed. I'm sorry, sir. We don't keep patients in the hospital beyond this little time. As soon as you get better, you'll be discharged. But don't worry, you'll be placed on constant. Uh, no, no, you don't understand. Look, my daughter. She is evil. My heart is evil. I don't want to go back there. This is normal with stroke patients. They often say absurd things and engage in abstract reasoning. I, I know it's your health that is making you feel that way, but don't worry. When you get better, the illusion will cease. Hmm? Oh, these people do not know my daughter. No problem. Don't worry, I'll tell you. Okay. They don't know you, mother. I don't want to go home. Mr. Eugene, how you feeling? I love your dream. Love the dream. I love the dream. How you feeling, sir? Huh? You're too dead, man. No, 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 doctor, no. Look, I have said it over and over again. I don't want to go home. 
I don't want to go home. Hmm. Not Eugene, don't worry. You'll be coming for a regular checkup. Once in a week. It, it, is, it is not about the checkup. They don't understand. It's about the evil data that I have at home. I see. Uh huh. Uh, if, don't worry. Sir. We have some social workers. We said you come over to your business, they will caution your daughter and they supervise you from time to time. They don't understand. Look, that will not make my case any better. Uh, uh, I can see that you're not very comfortable having me in the hospital. Okay, just tell them and, and just tell them that we no, no, sir. It's not it's just that we cannot keep you here forever, sir. Of course. My best is better than the hospital too. So just type me and let me go. Take it, take it, take it. Take it easy, sir. Take it easy, sir. Take it easy, sir. Take it easy, sir. Take it easy. Take it easy. Just, just, you just need some more. So rest. So rest. Just take it easy, sir. Don't know my daughter. This is wrong. Just take it easy, sir. Just take it easy. Mom, you will not be. What didn't I tell you? There is no man that will be this nice to a woman without having any strings attached. I'll tell you to you today. So what did you tell me? Well, I simply told him that there is no place in my heart for that kind of a relationship with a man. With a man. Mm -hmm. My dear. If he persists, you should consider him. I think so. You know, I don't want to predict any man, eh? But I think Tony is one of the best men any woman would love to have. I just don't understand what went wrong between Mom, you and Mom. Tony. Mom! We had an agreement. No Tony talk. Anyway, I'm I'm starving. Bring the food. My name is Beatrice Usuji. Okay, I'm a social worker attached to Mr. Eugene Ike. Lord Eugene Ike, I beg your pardon. Oh, Lord Eugene Ike, I'm sorry about that. Oh, please, is he in? No, I haven't seen him in two days and I'm getting really worried. Okay, just can I come, can I come in? Sure, come in and have a seat. Shut the door behind you. Actually, Mr. Eugene, if Lord Eugene. Okay. Lord Eugene, aka 
reported to us that a hostile attitude towards him often scares him away from the house. He told you guys his own side of the story. You should hear my own side of the story before you pick a position. Okay. So may I hear from your own position now? My father, Lord Eugene Ike, is a very wicked man. His evil deeds are haunting him. You see, my father drove away my only brother, his only son, out of this house to an unknown destination. My grandpa told me that my father killed his brother and my mother too and attempted more than him. I mean, with all these things, it could get any man mad. Don't exaggerate. Because your stories appear horrible. Real horrible. What I want now is to see Mr. Eugene Ike. Or Lord Eugene Ike. Because if we don't see him, if we don't see him, I'm left with no choice than to hand you over to the authorities. And what if something happens to me? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Now I want you to get up and get out of my house. Get up and get out! Scotch you off my foot! I said get up and leave. But do you want me to stand up and push you out? Oh, I see. Maybe Lord Eugene Mickey didn't tell you about Melda. Okay. Now get up. Now, get up and get out of my house. <laughs> now. I really need to get myself off the hook. No, no, no. I can't marry Amelda. She's just too much for me. If she could do all those things to her father, what then would become of me? Who is not even the same blood unit with her? Along Allen Avenue. And that's where we're going to be doing our wedding shopping. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yes, I'm busy. What? Have you had something to eat? Well, oh, yes, I just um, finished it. Okay, good. Get me something to eat. I hope you like it. I do. Just that um, there's no chicken there. Oh, give me a freaking roll What? Mm. You do not look cheerful today, darling. You look terribly bad. My handsome face wears no smile today. What's the problem? Okay, I'll tell you. 
Hey, there's this friend of mine and um, he's been dating this girl for some time and um, they're contemplating on getting married. But the thing is, my friend is having some doubts over the girl's ability to make a good wife, right? But he doesn't know how to tell her about his decision. So that's why my face doesn't have a smile in it. Hmm? Okay, baby. I don't think that should worry you or your friend. Advise him not to get married with sentiments. Just advise him to quit. He should quit now. He should quit? And why get married when you know you're not going to be happy afterwards? Yeah, why not? He should quit. And Michael? Yeah. Who is this your new friend that is troubling you? I, I don't think you've met him before. No, uh, he's an old school mate of mine and you just don't get to meet him. Yeah, pretty soon. Don't you have any relatives, sir? I don't have any. And your wife? Dead. Died a few years ago. And no child? I I don't have any child. I'm living. My little child gave birth to two. But, but both of them are dead. That's pathetic. Your experience is enough to generate this kind of trauma. I feel very sorry for you, sir. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Probably he comes back to the house when you're not around. Oh. It doesn't look like anybody gets into the house. I don't think anyone has been in the house in my absence. Everything is intact. Don't you think it's time you tell the police? I know that man. That man is taking refuge somewhere in order to avoid me. But he's going to come out someday. And I will continue to pressure him until he yields. Come on, Imelda. You have to take it easy on him. Pressure him no more. He's sick and he's your father. I don't care about his health. I expect him to behave like my father. I am very disappointed with you. I told you that I didn't have any relation, but you went ahead and allowed. 
I'm very upset with you. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry. He told me he's your brother. But I told you that I did not have any brother. Sir, what sir. was your rationale for sending him in? I am very sorry, sir. It better be. We are going to discharge you today, Mr. Eugene. Lord Eugene, I beg your pardon. Lord Eugene. Lord Eugene. Yes. Will you still know the way to your house? Is that a Mr. Of course, I will know the way to my house. We expect you to be coming once weekly for your checkup. You have to say so. Alright, no problem, sir. I'll go prepare your discharge papers. Okay. Thank you. Where have you been to? I see. Uh, they didn't take care of you well where you're coming from. Because I could hardly recognize you. Welcome, Dad. Let go, let go, Father, let go. Let go.
Ivanka! Ivanka! It's a haunted house. I can't live here. I'd rather get back to the studio and render to my dying day. to go and see the new house. The agent waited all day. Mom, I'm sorry. I, I totally lost track of time. Joe, Dr. Joe took me to his family to meet his mom, sister, brothers. I just lost track of time. Anyway, I'm happy you decided to start a new life with a new doctor. Mom. And decided to put the past behind you. Mm? Don't be too sure of that. Mm -hmm. One step at a time. Sorry, I probed too far. Mom, I'm really sorry. I totally <laughs> forgot. Hey, baby. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Good. Huh. You won't believe it. My father showed up this evening. And he appears so miserable. Really? So, where has it been all the while? I don't know. <sighs> Took another. I'm tired of hearing just your family stories, okay? <laughs> I'm really tired of listening to your family adventures and stuff. In fact, mm. it's, it's... Uh, Mikey, listen, you can't avoid it. Because you are going to be part of this family soon, once we get married. I know that I, I just don't want to be part of your family, okay? I cannot be part, part of your family tales, your incredible family adventures, and your, your family mix. No, no, no. And I don't want you for a wife, Imelda. What has come over you, Mikey? Nothing. It's just that I, I, I can't be a part of your family. I can't be a part of your family tales. I, I can't be a part of your family adventure. I can't be a part of your, your, your family. Ugh. And the truth is, I can't get married to you, Imelda. I mean, if you would treat your father in such a manner, then what would become of me? That means you've been fooling me all this while. No, Amelda, you have been fooling yourself. Now, I want you to return to me all the monies that I lent to you throughout this relationship. Provided it will make you get out of my life. I will. Leave my house. Leave my house. No, you must pay. No, just leave my house. No, right, right, right. Let me finish writing. Okay, you're right, Emil. I will. Just write about it. Get out. You're just a witch. I'm a bitch. Please. Save your breath. Just write them out, right? Write them. $5,000. How did I get myself into this mess? It's I mean, distracting me. Let's do that, right? Just, just write it. 500,000 Naira. That's me. Another, you're a bitch. $1,000. Look at you, looking all good. That is my money. You shut up and just write it, right? Just shut up. Good. Bought you clothes, bought you boxes. 
And you're here telling me bullshit. Amanda, just write this thing and get out of my oh, sight. Shut up. I don't ever want to see you again. You're a witch and you're a bitch. Whatever. Yes, that's what you are. Anyway, these are the things I remembered. Just list them all. List everything. This is all that I remembered. Ten million naira. That is what you have to refund to me. Yeah. Ten what? Ten million. For the monies I lent to you, the rings I bought, the shirt you're putting on, the smile I put on your face. And boy, you have to compensate me for all the times that we spent together. Now that you are insane, right? You are insane, you are out of your mind. You are a bitch, uh, you are a witch, okay. right? Look, just get out. And my money? Amelda, don't let me throw you out forcefully, okay? Just get out of my house. <laughs> Count to five, and if you're still here, mm. one. Two, three, four. Oh, you don't count! You bitch. Investments on Mike will not go in vain. He must pay me back every cover I spent on him. If I'll put him in trouble. I must fight it out. You're yet to see the worst of me, Mike. Guessing. Ah, okay. I just proposed to Sandra. Oh, what that is, is wonderful! <laughs> hey, I'm so excited. I knew you'd like it. Okay. Uh, you know what you're going to do for me? What? Please fix the wedding date for the last Saturday in November. Okay, done. Uh, what else? Uh, oh my god, I'm so excited. Easy, mom. You know, you need to invite her over so that I can take her measurement for her wedding gown and other ways. Done. Yeah. It's it just goes for celebrations, doesn't it? Oh. Really, really, it does, it does, it does. Yeah. I need to call my friend. Easy, mom, it's still November. Let me go get some glasses of champagne. Oh, oh darling, I'm excited. I know you are. Checked the door. No? Oh, 
Oge and uh, Sandra are in? No. Oh, well, maybe they are sleeping or something. Anyway, uh, I came to tell you that Sandra and I will be getting married at the end of November. That sounds great! 25th to be precise. Wow! Oh, praise the Lord. Thank God. Oh, I pray God will give you the strength. Eh? And both of you will be calm and patient so that um, you will overcome all the obstacles that comes with uh, preparations uh, of our wedding. Amen. 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 I will go pick up so we could go meet my mom for preparation. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Has moved. Moved? Yes. To where? He has relocated. Don't you see this somebody? So? Excuse me, please. Afternoon. What can I do for you? Can I see Mr. Eugene? I haven't seen him in four months. Where did you go to? <laughs> do I look like I know his whereabouts? I will take no further questions from you. Get out. Okay. In that case, I'm left with no choice than to contact the appropriate authority. I said get out. Go to hell. Get out of my house. I'm fine. 
Yeah. Oh, that was my phone. Mm -hmm. Now that I've seen your size, I don't think I'll have any difficulty in buying your wedding gown. The venue has been sorted out and the printer is on its way here. Okay, that's nice. Perfect. So that we can, you know, choose the invitation card that we, that we use. Nice. Perfect. Are you okay with it? Do you have any problem with it? Oh. Um, just one, ma'am. Because I would have loved to be the one to choose my own wedding gown. Oh, no, no, no. I know what is good for you. Trust me, you will like the dress I'll choose for you. Mom makes the best choices. He knows me. She never feels. Okay. Are you alright now? Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. As I say, I'm a social worker attached to the Ministry of Health. Oh, I have a report to make, sir. Yes. One of our patients under our care, by name Lord Eugene Ike, has yeah. been complaining bitterly that his only child has been sending him away from the house. And for the past several months now, he has not been seen in his house. And the, the doctor cannot explain where he is at the moment. You said his name is... Uh... Lord Eugene Ike, sir. And where does he live? Mm, from the information we've gotten so far. Oh, thank you, please. <laughs> Look at that. Did you water my flower today? When? Please don't let this flower die. I bought it so expensive. But I watered it three times. Look, you have to remove all the dead ones. In fact, I have to look for a gardener. All okay, those I'll, I'll do that. I did it Learn to, I mean, you, you with time you will learn more about him, and then you cope. You don't have to. Come it's in. not about him. It's about his mom. She is just way too much into his life. She's so dominant, and then worse, he listens to her. Sandra, calm down. Look, you have to seek to understand her, than seek to be understood. That is the very good virtue of every woman. Okay? I'm going to try to get this. And you, make sure you take care of your flower. Yes. Yes. Uh, the ashebi is pink and white. Uh huh. No, no, no. There are two types. One is 35,000, the other. I'll call you back, I'll call you back, yes. Alright. Mrs. Damija. Yes. The wedding is still November. Well, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Anyway, wedding bells are ringing and I have to go do some running around. Okay? What? Wait, where is the check I asked you to pay? No. Collecting money happens to be my hobby. Oh, yes, I <laughs> okay. Just give me the check. How much am I saying here? 300,000. What for? 300? No, 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 no. Make it 500,000. If it's not enough, then I can add my own money. 
Okay, fine. I'll do that when I come back. But, Mom, if you don't mind, I'd like Sandra to participate in the wedding preparations. I mean, she's a lady. She has choices of her own. What does Sandra know? Mom? What does she know? She does not know anything. My choice definitely surpasses us because I was your mother before she became your wife. Okay. Have you forgotten? Why? Why have you forgotten? No, your wish is my command. Mm -hmm. well, right, take, take care of yourself. Thank you. Let's champagne. <laughs> yes, let me finish this call. Yeah. My dear. Now that you are getting married to another man, don't you think it's advisable we inform the members of Tony's family that you had a son for Tony? No, I am not going anywhere near the house. Oh, those people. Okay, fine. If I run into any one of them on the road, I will let them. Come on, Sandra. Let's give it another try. Or maybe I will have to go there to explain things. Fine. If you must, do go. But you will go without me. But I don't know the place. Okay, can take it. Okay, I'll go with Toby then. That's all. My dear, now that you are getting married to another man, don't you think it's advisable we inform the members of Tony's family that you had a son for Tony? No, I am not going anywhere near the house. Oh, those people. Okay, fine. If I run into any one of them on the road, I will let them know. Come on, Sandra. Let's give it another try. Or maybe I will have to go there to explain things. Fine. If you must, do go. But you go without me. But I don't know the place. Okay, can take it. Okay, I'll go with Toby then. That's all. That I am going to wear. It's not enough that your mother has picked my wedding gown. So she has to pick everything. She, but she has to totally dress me up. That's not stop. I will want to start. Joe, seriously, is this how this whole marriage is going to be? We taking instructions from your mother not make decisions by ourselves. Babe, babe, relax. Okay? Now, mom is doing this for her own good. Nothing personal, nothing intentional. Besides, she makes the best choices. Spot on. Alright? Let's talk about something else. Things left undone. I'm going with Hey, hey, hey! Slow down! Do not! Hey! Wait, wait. Okay, 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 okay. listen, listen. Listen. Please! Mom. I am most uncomfortable. I mean, he just listens to everything she says. It's almost as if he doesn't have a mind of his own. Calm down. Calm down, Sandra. There is no man without any fault. Oh, fuck. Just calm down. Mom. It's, it's like making a decision with him about a certain thing one minute, and the next minute, it's all about what my mom thinks is best. Man. Mom is exhausting. I can't cope with this. Look, Sandra, 
You just have to calm down. These are the problems you are going to contend with in marriage. So you just have to calm down and cope with him. You have to calm down. Good afternoon, my able doctor. Hi. Oh. Hi. What's that? I'll call you when you come. Ah. Yeah. Finally out. So. You like it? Of course I do. Let me have a look. So, who are these for? Uh, they're for your family, just in case you have anybody to invite. Ten cards for my whole family? She was the one who picked them. Oh, your mom. <laughs> this is your mom. I guess um, she'll be grateful that. And my most um, 
grateful my toast is the way to eat him. Thanks, one time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do. So, um, what should I get? No, I have an appointment. I have to run. Are you on call? Not really. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I'll see ya. Uh, my regards to your family. Uh, To look better. <laughs> Ten cats for a whole big family like us.